We have two massive charts to have a look at today to see when the optimal times are to load up on altcoins. We've seen a mega run from Bitcoin going from $25,000 up to $36,000. Some of these profits are now flowing out into the other cryptos. We can see them pumping up ETH, XRP with a nice 23%, Solana with a 26%. You can check out the other top 100 coins with the old cryptos going up even to the likes of 50% with NEO from 2017. But what I want to look at today are those two major charts that will hopefully help us in the pursuit of when is the optimal time to load up into the altcoins. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and a quick shout out for the Aussies. Links in the top of the video description. We will be in Melbourne this weekend for the Australian Crypto Convention. More on that later, but you'll see those links there to get yourselves some free tickets that are coming up. All right, guys, let's kick it off with the total cryptocurrency market cap. Updates on the total cryptocurrency market cap, Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin. And of course, we want to look at the total crypto three market cap, which is everything, all the altcoins, excluding Bitcoin, ETH and the stable coins. So total crypto market cap first, this, this does include Bitcoin and ETH. This one broke out. This is what we looked at last week. So you can see that the trends are up. We have higher lows upon higher lows, higher highs, higher highs again. Trends are up. The bears were screaming at us through March on the collapse here. They were screaming at us in June. They were also screaming at us in September, but the market continued to trend up. Not only did Bitcoin trend up, the US stock markets also trended up. The stuff where the, the serious money is at. This is kind of the play money, you know, the money that everyone looks to gamble with when things are running hot. And we're waiting to see when those times are when the markets do really start to run hot. There are some great gains to be had now, some pretty good profits if you're trading the markets, but is now the serious time to be loading up on those altcoins, hoping for the 10, 20, 50 Xs. It doesn't seem like that in terms of time. And I wanna show you that in the charts as to why and when those times are. But like we can see from the total market cap, money's flowing in. We know who those mega bears were on these big collapses, but they got it wrong every single time over the last 12 months. Don't be part of them. We were talking about the lows here on the channel. You remember that. And we were laughed at. Those same players that were saying the markets are going to collapse further. You just wait, yada, yada. It didn't happen. We looked at the lows coming in from June of last year into that low of November. Higher low, higher low, higher low. This was the accumulation period. Meanwhile, the masses missed it. Don't be part of that. Try to identify how they got it wrong and do the opposite and learn strategies and ways to not get it wrong. Because this is just going to be part of investing for the rest of your life if you choose to invest and trade for the rest of your life. The masses always get it wrong. Even the people who think they get it right, tip it. even the people who are basically put up on pedestals often get it quite wrong. So even with this, go and take it away, do your own research and don't trust anything that you hear online until you've checked it for yourself and done the research. All right, that's my disclaimer there. We continue to see high lows and higher highs. Total cryptocurrency market cap is up. With the markets being up, that means one thing. We're going to see higher search volumes coming through Google. You can see that Bitcoin has been up the last couple of weeks. Pretty significant search volumes uh, for the last 12 months. So this goes all the way back just for 12 months and then rates the search term of Bitcoin within the search terms of Bitcoin in the last 12 months. So just compares it for this period. So very significant move up here. Uh, the only higher time was that of the low, the cycle low that came in for BTC in November of 2022. So apart from that, we've basically been equal with the March collapse, which was a higher low. And now we're seeing the same sort of search volume again. It looks like it's dropping off this week. But for crypto, it was also up there. It's at, uh, sitting at 22, which is this blue line. And the other times were each of those lows and peaks in the market. You got the peak there in July at 22 on the blue line here, uh, 21 there in June. And we can take it back to March as well. That was 24, so slightly higher there. So you can see that the search term volume for um, uh, crypto has been dropping off and has now just picked up that little bit again. So onto the Bitcoin dominance, and we can see the dominance has been up since the cycle low, 
that's a good sign. You want to see that money flowing back into Bitcoin and out of the shit coins. Because remember, there are over 2 million cryptos now, altcoins, shit coins, DGEN, whatever it is. That could even be NFTs and everything else, else in the crypto space. 2M plus, that's over 2 million that coin market cap uh, rates on their website. Are they all um, real? Of course not. There's going to be the majority of them are going to be scams. So be pay particular attention to the cryptos and when is a good time to be getting into the market. So with the Bitcoin dominance, this has continued to trend up. You can see from the previous cycle, similar sort of play here. The low came in the following month for the dominance and then Bitcoin dominance trended up for quite some time, taking it from the low to the peak before the collapse. And that's your altcoin season that everyone wants to get into, this red area of the dominance collapsing. That's uh, 37, so it's 36, basically one, one bar over, 37. And then a reading from the low to this first major top here where we had the double top, that's 20 bars. So that's gonna be months, 20 months. Where do we currently sit from this particular low? That's the dollar low. We're at month 12. Month 20 takes us out to July 2024, and if we take it from the low here in September with a dominance load, 20 months later is May 2024. I bring that up because that is going to be a key area, if you haven't figured it out by now, that these markets are going to basically feel the retail flowing straight back into it, and we'll start to feel those vibes again like we did in late well, early 2020 into late 2020. So that's this period here where we got a drop off in the dominance that was through the DeFi summer. So the Bitcoin dominance dropped off there. It pulled back a little bit more when Bitcoin basically broke out into new all time highs. That was the start of that, that run. And then Bitcoin dominance collapsed from that point. That was the dominance, even though Bitcoin was going up because people were getting excited and gambling on all of the crap coins out there, the shit coins, which we now know there are over 2 million of. So I think that's going to be quite similar in this case. We've looked at those month timeframes now looking towards quarter two, quarter three, but there is always a pullback. Do we see another pullback this time? I think we will from this point here that we're seeing the run up and we'll get to those in the charts in just a moment. But you can see that uh, in, the, in the dominance, there is a time when Bitcoin is claiming it back and then the dominance falls back into the alts because people get too excited and they think it's time for alt season again. Bitcoin claws it back. There's a mini altcoin season. Bitcoin claws it back. A bigger altcoin season than the previous ones. Bitcoin claws it back and then it's game on for all of the, uh, the degenning and gambling that you could imagine. Absolutely wild times. And that's the times when everyone says that, you know, this is the time we're going to see a super cycle. Bitcoin prices will never go back down. How could they? Because of uh, the US dollar, et cetera, et cetera. Be prepared for all of the narratives, all of the same narratives that we heard in the past, plus all the new narratives that are just looming out there telling us why these markets are going to be here forever. It is never the case. Never the case. Just remember that now. Just like you guys that I'm seeing your messages from now saying, we should have listened that these were the lows, not trying to you know, give us a, a pat on the back here, but just don't get, don't fall back into the traps of the same bullshit that happens every single cycle where people tell you, no, it's got to go lower. No, you got to stay in the market because it's just not going to come down. You get it. We're going to continue to follow up. That's enough of my ranting here. Let's move on to ETH BTC. Another reason why these markets are probably coming towards their low, this is for um, the altcoin market. ETH has just come back and tested the 50% level. It's getting close to the previous low that it put in in June of 2022. So this is ETH BTC. We know from this chart that when this lows, when the ETH BTC chart lows, we're getting close to that period where money wants to flow out of Bitcoin and start to gamble on the rest of the market. You can see the low that came in here in, in uh, September 2019. That was a good period for Bitcoin. That was around this space here. And then the money was basically trending backwards and forwards between the alts and Bitcoin and, and uh, Ethereum before we headed up into that final boom to the top. So that's this sort of period that we're in now. So whether this goes slightly lower, bounces back above is yet to be seen. One thing we do know for sure is, well, it looks like the price is testing 5.2%. Just had a nice little bounce recently to 5.4. The number I want you to keep in mind 
is this level right here, roughly 6.4% of Bitcoin, Bitcoin's value when we measure it uh, compared to ETH. Why is, the, why is that the case? Well, we can see a lot of uh, bodies of the candles coming down as support, then getting rejected, and then falling past that point. Obviously, the first levels are going to be the nice psychological level of 6%, but then I want to see it climb back above and start to hold above those levels. So that's To me, that's a pretty key level for the ETH BTC valuation to get back above. Otherwise, this trend continues down to come back and test uh, the June 2022 low further. And potentially it does because there is still more time left to go for alts to bleed out further. This is the Wyckoff schematic of total three. This is excluding BTC and ETH. So take a look at this in terms of what phase we are currently in. This is one of the charts that we want to have a look at to identify when the right time is, or I guess when the, the safest time is, because there's never an exact right time. It all depends on your trading plan. You're going to hear people say, you missed it. This was the low. You're going to hear people say, well, how many times have you been buying the low on the way down and down and down and down and down? They're, they're typically the people who are continuing to try the try and buy the low. They have no idea about their average price. And then when the market goes up 20, 30%, like it has done in the last two weeks, they think they're up. But unless they know their average price, forget about it. We're looking at the chart here to identify a clean confirmation point based on the data and the facts. Where would that level be? You can see the horizontal line here. That's at roughly $400 billion. So we want to see the market get back above and consolidate into the phase D, which we know from the schematic looks similar to this. So right now it looks like we're trending up into that. Like we can see from C to D, we don't have a confirmation yet of uh, the, the market leaving D or that we're actually in D yet. Because if this fails and comes back down underneath the previous supply areas or the, the previous demand areas, then we would have to extend phase C further out in time until we get that confirmation that the market is ready to break back above. Because for phase D, we need a break above the trading ranges and a consolidation before we can push on to phase E, which is basically leaving the, um, the, the trading ranges. So let's throw that back there. And then we wait to see whether this is a sign of strength coming up. It sure looks like it with increased volume. You can see the diminishing volume as the market was dropping off, but putting in higher lows, meaning that as the market came down, there was selling pressure, but because there's less volume means there is just less people out there selling and it's getting matched by the buying, which puts in a higher low. Eventually, tables flip. This is on a weekly chart, so it takes a fair bit of time. Tables flip, you can see the volume start to come back in and the buying pushes prices up, breaks highs, breaks other highs. And then as we get, or if it happens, right, we break into the next zone that confirms the phase D. So we'll be looking between 400 and 450 for a nice clean area. We definitely want to see a break above the previous top in August 2022 and consolidation. So above the 450 area, 450 billion when you exclude BTC and ETH. So similar to last cycle, you can see that we had a run up out of these lows as the market was testing the bottom. All those STs are secondary tests of the selling climax, which was an SC, you can hardly see it there. Essentially, the market ran up, ran back down. That time frame from the low to the next low was 12 weeks, so roughly three months, which puts us into the early stage of 2024, which is pretty reasonable timing if we do see this Christmas rally that then gets pulled back in January or February, potentially somewhere around that. It's only four weeks here, but we'll have to wait and see what the market actually does. From the back of a move up, there is probably going to be a pullback. So is now the time, unfortunately time will tell, but just keep watching the signals and don't get too FOMO'd into the markets thinking that this is your altcoin season. The thing that we can note from the charts, from the data and the facts here, is that it's still too short in time for the mega move, the mega altcoin season breakout, it's likely we're in one of these sorts of moves here and that we have potentially seen the lows, but we're still very close to the lows. So that's the gamble. That's up to the individual investor yourself, whether you want to try and get in low to these lows here. Some will say, well, it's running up 20, 40%. Don't worry about that. The markets can run 10X, 20X, 30X. You have to pick the altcoins that are going to be stronger for you. Essentially, 
If you get in, try to get in closer to the lows, then you run the risk of the market heading back down. But if you wait for confirmation at higher levels, you miss out on the reward to the upside, the bigger gains because you're not getting in as low, but you get the confirmation that it's most likely, not confirmed, but most likely you are further into that bull market. So it's a fine balance over the next few months, over the end of 2023 and that first half of 2024, if we can get into the right coins for one, remember you're trading against 2 million different altcoins here. So picking the right one is quite difficult. And on top of that, if that wasn't difficult enough, it's getting this timing right here. So forget about the other fools who say you've missed the bottom and all that sort of jazz. They're probably the ones who don't know their average price on the way down and those fools who have been buying every single way on the way down. Mixed on top of that, well, there's 2 million out there. How do you know this is going to be the right one that does 10x, 20x? Are you in the game only for 20 or 50%? It's up to you. But from, from what we can see from the timing, we are roughly around this period here of the low, heading into this, and we still have this other stage to go for the Wyckoff schematic, which potentially puts us into that last stage, that sort of end of phase C. So this could be the up back down before we get into the phase D and then the breakout, which is what everyone's waiting for, that phase E, when retail mania takes off. And this is when things go ballistic, the beginning of the ballisticness into that peak. Now, the second chart that we're looking at is the overall macro timing of this cycle. There are a lot of numbers here looking at different timeframes for each section of the total three market cap. So looking at the timings here, the main one we we'll look at is the 30 bars. So 30 bars from the cycle top to this bar here. This was the breakout that the market fell back down, started to climb above. And because of this breakout here above the swing top, which is your GAN swing indicator, you can find a link to that in the video description. And that is a very key indicator to help us understand the trend and then key breakouts. These are, the, these are the ones that tell you that the market is turning. That's based on the 120 years of data and history that this tool has overcome. It stood the test of times through this whole period. Again, swing indicator. So the reason for that bar is it is very strong. It's broken the monthly swing top and then the, the market trades above that level. So it's setting up a base before it takes off again. So month 30 from the top to that breakout from our current top to the breakout, May 2024. That was the month that we looked at in the first couple of charts here from the total market cap, the Bitcoin dominance. This is the time frame that we're looking at for that potential first breakout here. Like we've talked about in other videos, quarter two and quarter three are going to be very interesting. Quarter two, quarter three of 2024, very interesting for cryptocurrencies in general, as it looks like that is possibly the time where we get that final confirmation that markets are going to run up into these ridiculous tops and the mania starts to set back in. Remember, none of this is confirmed and we are just working off of one cycle's piece of data. So far, things are lining up for that just based on what the charts are telling us here. You can see that the monthly swing tops haven't all been broken yet, but the market is putting in a higher low. It has broken the first monthly swing top, but this particular cycle that we're currently in is a slightly different structure to the, the last cycle in 20, uh, the, the bull market of 2017 that ran into the bear market of 2018, accumulation 2019, 2020. So for a, a nice clean break, I wanna see that $460 billion level like we looked at in the previous chart. You can see the top here was 454 billion. That's the price range that we're looking for because it is that monthly swing top of August, 2022. So if you want a nice clean number to throw on your charts, look at 460 billion and the market consolidating above that level. So it looks like a price target that we're waiting for in terms of a time frame, looking towards quarter two, potentially into quarter three of 2024 for the altcoin market to start getting its run on. In the meantime, we might have a sort of DeFi summer that happened back in 2020. It might be named something else this time, but you can see that first leg out that took the top. The breakout was July, then you had the August run, but the run started back from the pandemic low of March. So there could be a couple of good months of trading there in a particular sector of crypto, which might not get another run in during the mega bull market. So there is still time. The price hasn't been hit yet. 
The, the risk is up to you whether you take that now or later because the narratives can change. What we learned from previous cycles is that the narratives from life cycles typically don't flow through into the next cycle. And even if we get an early pump, like what, what happened in 2020, we had a DeFi summer. Those DeFi coins like Link, although they went higher in the USD value, they were on a mega collapse against their Bitcoin value throughout that entire period. From August 2020, they basically flatlined and well, they collapsed and then flatlined out after that period. Only now are they starting to see some sort of life in them again. So pay particular attention to what narrative is trending at the time. If it's too early, it's possible that that narrative won't carry through into the mega altcoin season. So wait and see what the next narrative is from that point. No one said it was easy. There's just a lot of things to continue to track. Timing, I think, is the best one here. We can see that as we continue to move forward. They're the two major charts that we are tracking now for the crypto altcoin season mania that everyone waits for. So is it time to load up? I hope that you've been able to answer those questions for yourself. For the Aussies that can attend Melbourne this weekend, link in the top of the video description. We will see you there. It is on Sunday afternoon, so make sure you still have enough energy throughout the week and the weekend where we get to catch up with you guys at the Australian Crypto Convention in Melbourne on Sunday, 12th of November. All right, I've done enough talking. Hope you guys are well. I'll see you throughout the week for more crypto and financial updates here on the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you at the next one. Peace out.